So today what do we do? <laughs> See, when we are in this world, we feel we are in this world. We are convinced that we are in this world is only because of the consideration that I am the body. We have to transform. They say, as you think, so you become. As you think, so is your experience. As you think, so is your vision of the world. Then what is the predominant uh, approach or conviction within us at this moment? If the disposition of ours with regards to ourselves is that I am the body, that I was born, that I will die one day, then for us the world will be real and we will continuously run from pillar to post trying to secure this life, trying to protect this life, try to get more and more options available for this life, try to do good in this life. But all those things are not benefiting us on the seat of meditation. Extrovert approach, which is the result of this disposition, because we have taken one form, this body is one form, which is part of this world as real. Therefore, we take the rest of the world also to be real. Understand the principle. Because we have got identified, taken, become attached to this form, therefore we have got, we are obsessed with the form of the world, we are thinking of the form of the world, we create relationships with the form of the world, we want to possess uh, uh, other things of the world, which also are nothing but forms. And what is the uh, rule of the form? That it was absent before, it is present now, and it will be absent later. That is the rule with which the form expresses itself. What was it? 
it was absent before it is present now or available now it's it, it seems to be there now and after some time it will vanish it will go out of existence And this is with regards to every form, including the sun, including the galaxy. So what is what is the principle that we can come to? General principle, which should be applicable to all the forms. What is the general rule? That all forms are temporary. all forms are changing all forms are finite and what do the scriptures say with regards to that which is finite that which is temporary that which is changing it is called as phenomena that which exists in its own absence so first we have to take this into consideration that are we considering ourselves to be the body and with this body identification being begins our interaction with the world now we can't do anything about it we find our i did not decide to get identified with the body when this body popped out there was life in it i didn't create the attachment i didn't create the identification many people will speak think that way see yes true you didn't create the identification that's how you feel that at this moment but the truth is that you as a human being have a choice you as a human being have a discriminative intellect you as a human being can uh or, or how should i say have inspiration you as a human being are continuously seeking solution to all situations problems challenges obstacles this is what being human is continuously inspired to grow further and if this disposition that i am this body and for so many years i have been living at the extrovert level has stunted my expansion stunted my growth stunt is not uh, this disposition is not allowing me to expand to the reality that i am how do we know that we are reality no i was i think i from childhood i was born as this body i am the body then you won't be sitting here listening <laughs> the fact that you are in the satsang is only because there is some itch inside to know more to be more to be free while living or with the last breath forever and ever and ever that there is something beyond the horizon of the form that's why you are here that's why you are reading books that's why we meditate think so the form is changing that we have come to the conclusion we have observed that the form was not before it is present now it is not present before now when we think about ourselves not as the body 
as the consciousness because in this body I am the consciousness I feel I am conscious is consciousness absent before present now and absent later start thinking was consciousness absent before will the consciousness be absent later so take example the ornament was not there before it was absent gold was then ornament came into existence then afterwards again it was melted and ornament went out of existence gold continued to be gold was there before gold is there now gold will be there afterwards but the ornament was not there before ornament is there now it will not be there afterwards was this body there before no there was body yes there was body but it was a child body or it was a teenage body or it was a youthful body or it was a, a every moment the body is changing yes i was there but i had a different type of body today i got a different type of body and it seems after death there is no body <laughs> so were you absent as consciousness were you absent when you were a child no were you absent when you were a teenager no were you absent when you were a youth no were you absent at any moment which has brought you to this moment no so you were present before you are present now and if this thought was made by the teenager or the youth he will say that yes i was present before and i can see from today's standpoint that the, the consciousness continued even after the teenager or youth so that means the consciousness was there before consciousness was there at that when teenage was the present moment or youth was the present moment and con con consciousness continued even after that body did not body became old but consciousness continued so now come to the present moment that this body as it is at this moment was not present to even one year ago one year ago i was absolutely healthy today i got some problems issues flexibility is going people are calling me uncle people are calling me grand grand uncle <laughs> huh? suddenly you realize are i am getting old again attention old means attention is on the body attention is on the time but here at this moment our attention is that we were there before as consciousness i was available i was present before i am present now and i'll continue to be present now consciousness is only at this present moment even though pure consciousness is our natural state it is our being but the word consciousness is only a thought in our mind as long as we think we are the body it will remain only a thought in the mind when we think of the continuity of the consciousness then we will transcend the body identification see what did i begin with as you think so is your experience as you think so you become as you think so is your vision so if you think you are the consciousness in the body then you will remain limited the attention is on the form that's why you are thinking that way <coughs> so 
think correctly think wisely think with come come to general principles of life general principles are those which are the common denominator all the time gravity is a general principle it is common denominator space it accommodates its common denominator that is the rule of the space you cannot have a space which does not accommodate anyone <laughs> it is not possible similarly the general principle with regards to consciousness is that it was always present there are many general principles about space but this is one of them with this regards in dream we take on a body a dream body and we accept it as i but when we wake up we delete it from our mind we don't even think about it how beautiful or ugly was it you were an animal or a human being or a god in dream it doesn't dream was dream eh it was just an imagination when we come to abide in our essential nature as the pure consciousness then this waking dream will be as ephemeral as uh, worthless as the dream dream so choose wisely bring your attention not only in the seat of meditation but throughout your day life daily life one my the, the scripture say antar laksha bahir drishti meaning be focused on the self and let the body live out there in the world but all the actions seeing hearing touching feeling tasting thinking all will depend where your attention is and that will become your experience so if your attention is on the self and self by nature is continuous self by nature is all knowing self by nature is blissful self by nature is beyond time space and objectivity it you don't have to prove it it is that it is it, uh, its nature is that its nature is infinite all you have to do is keep thinking about it contemplate on it and contemplate not on it as a concept contemplate on it think about it as i as i i am that and in this manner you live your life <coughs> and so today close your eyes or keep them open it does not matter relax have a happy disposition with no thoughts of past or future coming into the present moment and be available to the continuous principle that i am in spite of the world in spite of the body in spite of the thoughts be the continuous one 
be the unchanging one. Be the infinite one. 